now. Joining us right now is CPA and business analyst Daniel Geltrude. And Daniel, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks for being here. You say one company that is doing well amid this coronavirus is Zoom Video Communications. Yes. And the company, I believe, is reporting earnings this morning. Yep, and they're uh, 50 percent so far this year, Maria. And when you look at the companies that are going to benefit from what's going on with the coronavirus, it relates to if you're going to be quarantined, what is it that you need? So what's very interesting related to Zoom is J.P. Morgan is actually doing a test run right now where 10 percent of their employees are going to be working from home. So how are they going to be communicating? Well, teleconferencing. Mm. So this is one of the stocks that's really going to benefit. And there's going to be some fallout of this. As, as a company like J.P. Morgan tests this system, is it going to be where this becomes something more permanent and it has an impact on office rentals yeah. going forward? Now, we should point out that the stock is down this morning in the pre-market because it reported last night and it, there was a, uh, there was a uh, lower than expected number there. But over the last three months, it's up <laughs> big time. But this morning, it is down 5% on Zoom. People are uh, stocking up on cleaning products like Clorox. Uh, you say that there's a boom in business there. And, you know, we're, you go to the stores, you see a lot of empty shelves right now on a lot of products. Yes, well, Clorox did a very smart thing. They actually anticipated this was coming, so they upped their inventory levels. And they are going to benefit, I think, pretty dramatically over at least the, the next next two quarters because the the shelves should not be empty as it relates to this disinfectants that are made by Clorox. Yeah, stock is up 15 percent in, in just the last three months or so. How about a, a company like Costco seeing increased business as customers stock up on goods? And there are a lot of things that are selling out at Costco right now. Yeah, they really can't keep up with the demand. I mean, if you're driving past any Costco over this past weekend and these these days, you see tremendous lines people lining up to buy in bulk and for the first time in one of their locations in Oregon they actually ran out of toilet paper that, that's never happened before to them so you talk about a crisis that's one you said that the shelves are all empty right now when you when you go shopping Dagan, right? yeah people that. people will come in with just anecdotally people are angry because they'll go to a grocery store and they can't buy literally pasta is sold out in New York City mm. think like cans of soup for example well, I just look at Campbell's. Let's Campbell, check Campbell's yeah. because it could very well see a boom in business yeah. as well. I with just people stocking up on canned soup. I just question yeah. that these stocks have probably already reacted to any yeah. boost that they're going to get. From yeah, that's this the morning. question. Is this sustainable after yeah. the crisis? Well, I think that there are some companies like Zoom that are going to be able to sustain this. This is probably a beginning of a trend for them. But sure, uh, if you look at when we have natural disasters and we see the reaction, like at a Home Depot and Lowe's, yes, they get that blip and then things go back to equilibrium. So I think these companies are benefiting right now. But you have to think about this. It, it, there's so much attention on this. Is it going to change the way people actually live going forward, particularly as it relates to a company like Clorox? Are people going to be more mindful related to disinfecting everything going forward? And, and maybe the answer is yes. Yeah, it's, it's a really good point. Daniel, thank you. This thank is a, you. A, a great uh, subject, an angle to look at as well. Daniel Geltrude joining us. Good to see you. Thank you. Coming up, the Amazon. I'm